What's good guys? I did a video earlier regarding the Brianna Taylor case. I did an update in that case. And I wanted to bring this also to the channel. Uh, it's an article from the New York Times from yesterday. It says, Weeks old statue of Brianna Taylor is battered in Oakland, California. Underneath it says, The vandalism of the ceramic sculpture of Miss Taylor near City Hall is under investigation, the police said. This is a picture of that bust. You can see it's, uh, yeah, been busted. It says, A bust of Brianna Taylor in a plaza near Oakland City Hall was smashed in several places late last week. The artist wants to create a new statue in bronze. The clay took several months for a Bay Area sculptor to shape with his hands into the likeness of Brianna Taylor, which he finished with a dark brown satin glaze. But less than two weeks after the statue memorializing Miss Taylor was installed in a busy downtown plaza in Oakland, California, its creator, Leo Carson, said he held the broken pieces of the vandalized ceramic bust in those same hands. The sculpture was smashed in several places late last week, drawing widespread condemnation in the community and prompting a police investigation. And when Mr. Carson passed by the statue again on Tuesday, he said it was gone. The vandalism was regarded as another indignity to those still grappling with the killing of Miss Taylor, a 26-year-old black woman and emergency room technician, by police officers in Louisville, Kentucky, during a botched drug raid in March. Miss Taylor's death, along with the killing of George Floyd in late May, stoked widespread protest over police brutality and racial injustice. A plaque with Miss Taylor's name and the phrase, Say Her Name, was displayed on the front of the statue that was vandalized in Latham Square Plaza, which is near Oakland City Hall. I built it to support the Black Lives Matter movement, Mr. Carson said in an interview, but that also makes it a target for racist aggression. There's a picture of the um, pedestal that the bust was sitting on where the bust is now gone. A spokeswoman for the Oakland Police Department said in an email on Monday night that a police report had been filed in the matter and that the vandalism was under investigation. On Tuesday, the police did not immediately respond to questions about whether or when the sculpture had been removed. Mr. Carson, 30, who is white, said he spent about $600 making the sculpture, which he placed in the plaza on December the 12th. He chronicled the installation on Instagram, and one person warned at the time that it could face a backlash. Pull that down, the person wrote. It's a source of riots. Mr. Carson, who made trips to Home Depot and a ceramic studio while making the sculpture, said he had prepared for the possibility that the installation could be damaged. It was always in the back of my mind, he said. I just had a feeling, like I had to do it anyway. It didn't matter. Mayor Libby Schaefe of Oakland denounced the vandalism in a Twitter post on Monday. It's a vicious attack against the light plus justice sought in Breonna Taylor's name, Ms. Schaefe wrote. We will keep moving forward. Oakland will not tolerate acts of hatred. Jonathan Greenblatt, the chief executive of the Anti-Defamation League, also condemned the damage to the sculpture. This act of vandalism disrespects Brianna's memory, what she represents, and the work of this artist, Mr. Greenblatt said Monday on Twitter. Mr. Carson said that the outpouring of support from the community had been heartening. By Tuesday, he had raised more than $20,000 on a GoFundMe page toward building a new sculpture from bronze. He said he planned to donate the remaining funds to Ms. Taylor's family. The three officers implicated in Ms. Taylor's death avoided homicide charges in September, setting off a new round of protests across the nation. A grand jury in Louisville indicated one officer who was fired on three counts of wanton endangerment. Let me reread that. A grand jury in Louisville indicted one officer who was fired on three counts of wanton endangerment. Mr. Carson said that someone on Instagram told him about the vandalism over the weekend. In that sense, it's not surprising, he said, but it doesn't reflect Oakland. He added that the bronze sculpture he hopes to build will be sturdier. 
It gives her a sense of wholeness again, he said. It's a shame. It is. It really is a shame. Um, I hate to even hear that. I'm just going to leave this article here. I, I don't really know much else to say about it. I, I just think it's terrible. You guys have a good night.